this video, I will be showing you some ideas and tips on how to build 5 easy Minecraft starter houses, each in different biomes and with different wood types. Each house or base will get a brief explanation on how to build it, some techniques in building and things you can improve. There will also be a tour around the bases. So let's get right into it. So the first house is the spruce cliffside house. The spruce biome is a beautiful biome with exotic trees and delicious berries. If you find a nearby cliff, it will look even more amazing, like here. So let's take a tour. So when you get here, you see some staircases going up into the main rooms. And we've got a kitchen, quite messy, but it's a spruce house, so it kind of has to. Some chests here and quite a nice view up here. And if we go upstairs, we have our bedroom with some lanterns. And if you go outside here, we've got a nice balcony. Um, as you can see here, it's really nice. Now let's get into the main balcony, which is Goa made out of campfires. And just a nice view of the terrain, I guess. And it looks really nice. So now what we have here, we have our basement, so if you press this button, we go here, there's some chests here, our storage system, we even have a switchable nether portal. So if you press this button, that extinguishes it. <laughs> um, if you press this button, it will light up. And go in. Yeah, it's just basically But if you want to deactivate it, because I don't like the noise of the never portal that much, so I will just press this button and it breaks. And over here we have anvil, crafting benches, and some furnaces. And we have an enchanting room down here with level 30 enchantments. So all of these houses will have level 30 enchantments now when you want to build this house you need to build it in a spruce biome of any sort next to a cliff would be really nice like we have here so what well, you'll need um, some strip spruce wood spruce wood for crafting cobblestone or stone bricks glass campfires basic tables and chests for everything in a base obsidian for the nether portal and lanterns. Most of these things don't include the planks and stairs for the house because you can just craft them out of the wood you get. So how you build this? So start with having like a reference image and what house you're going to build and what rooms especially. And yeah, so two, add some spruce pillars along the sides like here. You want some one block indent so you can build up some extra pillars as you can see here, which makes it look really nice. You can not have an indent, like over here, but don't have that too much because then it looks quite ugly in some of the cases. So step three, join up the pillars, just like that, along there, and then just make a basic frame. Build up the walls using spruce wood, and then when you have windows, want to make some fancy patterns even with some buttons one example is over here with some buttons and stairs I use this design quite a lot for my spruce houses and you want to finish the roof so think about if it's going to be really sloping up or just a flat one like this you can use campfires stairs and fences to create an overhang over a cliff or patio or pergola over here and we have some over here as well so you want to extinguish them with a shovel first you can have a basement if you want to make this a real base but remember have specific rooms where you can build any chests and benches because you want to have like a room here you don't want everything just scattered around the place because that looks ugly step eight polish up entrances and just make look everything nice and add some detail like these lanterns and chains, trapdoors, just 
to overhang and pretty much finished step 9 so you should have some ideas on how to build your spruce house now and you can always customize it in creative mode so you can change it however you like and you don't have to stuff up so i think the cliffside spruce house is a cool house waiting to show off to your friends you should build a starter base in your survival world and i think this is one of the coolest houses you can build not really that good for a base but that's okay so these are my ratings So let's move on to the next house, the jungle house. The jungle tree house is an extremely cool house on top of jungle trees. Free from any mobs from above, this base houses everything in your usual base like nether portal and storage area and furnace room. Easily expandable platforms also make this a really good base to build but also really easy. So you can also add some observation decks like this telescope and can do anything in here. So let's take a quick tour. So you start off by going through here by this path, you see these vines. You want to ignore that first. And you just want to climb up and you reach the top. The first platform, we've got a net portal, we've got an enchanting room. And that's pretty much it for this floor, but you can add anything else. And this is the main platform. So we got all our chests and some benches here. And if we go up here, we got our furnace room on this nice platform. If you want to just get down quickly, then you stand on these trapdoors. And you want to push the button again. And you got some water down to save your fall but you should not move because you will die from fall damage. So the materials needed are jungle wood, vines, campfires over there, basic tables and chests, and just everything for the base, and obsidian for the portal. And also lots of torches to light everything up. So first you need to find a tall tree, maybe like that one or that one, but I just built it on this one and then that's where your main platform which is this one where your storage system and everything else go then you want to build it there so you want to build a circle out of jungle planks with the center being the tree and add slabs onto the edges remember have your roof be at the bottom of the tree's leaves like here then create your platforms three blocks downwards so one two three so that you always have three block high roofs. Add fences and planks to create a barrier. Safety first, kids. And create more circular platforms just anywhere you want. Maybe here, there, there, there. Yeah, just you want to have many platforms for different rooms. And you can either join them up using campfire bridges or you can use just basic stairs if they're nearby. And last step is just adding details maybe like a telescope so you can see out into the distance i really like to do this because it's really up high and you can see everything from here. so the jungle house can easily expand which i really like making sure lots of air gets in between your buildings can really spruce it up <laughs> get it you can add platforms anywhere but make sure to make them in places that make them not look odd like hanging off the very edge. Anyway I really enjoyed building this because it was really easy. You just need to build a bunch of platforms, add some fences and there you go, you got a jungle base. So these are my ratings. And let's hop on to the next house. So this is the Acacia Wood House or base. So this is one of the coolest houses in my opinion because the Acacia biome is really beautiful but very underestimated so not much people build here. This house is really cool house but really well balanced with being a base because everything just fits together so nicely like this furnace room, observation deck, 
and much more things that I'll show you in a second. The main idea is to have a circular shape and with some bits hanging out of it. So let's have a look. So you start by going into this. And you've got an enchanting room, lots of storage down the side, and another portal that can be activated. But this one's three by three because symmetry counts in here. And press that, it opens up. Press the button, it closes. As you can see, there's quite a nice view and open air space in here. Over here, there's observation deck with cartography table. And we got a furnace room with a stone cutter and another deck out here, which I really like. Or out here, we got an anvil and a smithing table. Here, we can find our bedroom. Sleeve up, we can activate these trapdoors which let the nice air come right through. Same over here, open this up and it's all activated. And you, you can get a elytra and fly right through your roof, which I find really cool. And it's alright if you put redstone on top of your roof because most people won't see it unless they have elytras, of course. So, the materials needed are Acacia logs, some stripped uh, acacia logs, basic base things, obsidian, some redstone and some levers for those trapdoors, and some fences so you can build an optional farm around here. So first you want to create a circular shape around here, just have a nice circle using, as you can see if I go into here we got a nice symmetrical space. And I forgot to show you, we got an ender chest under stairs. You want to fill up the walls with acacia planks and fences, as you can see here. Or you can use stripped acacia logs. Create a floor that is around here using slabs because then you can see the top part of your wood, but also you get more space and you just save the wood. And then add any build like extra rooms out the sides of your houses. So like this one is just hanging off here and like this one is also hanging off here. So you want to add those, typically want them, if I fly in through here, want them to be 3x3 three three or 3x4, three just a nice cozy like villager house sort of thing. And then start making your second level, make a staircase, just have anything here. You can make a split level like I did over here. You just want to air coming through everywhere, basically. Add your benches and furnace rooms and everything else, and you are finished. I really love this house. I love it because it's a very cozy home. Well, not cozy, but very homely. But very well balanced with the base because it has everything without making it look odd. Like, that just belongs there. I would really enjoy this in survival because, yeah, it just looks good and it's quite easy to build. You just need a circle and then your mind just goes off with it. So, and it only uses wood, which is good material use. And it can be quite complicated though because like, most people don't build such circles and they don't really have a creative mind. So they can't really think up of all these good things. That's basically it. I really love it and here are my ratings. So let's move on to the next house. You'll find out why in a second. So we are in dark forest biome. Oh, she can spawn out under these trees. I have to hide. Oh, I'm just exploring and I just see this. Trees and jump across here find wait what it's a woodland mansion oh you must be kidding it's only my house well the house you're gonna build and this is dark oak house and it's very spooky and it's very creepy so other players probably won't go into it it's a nice house in dark forest biome with many features I make you feel like you're living in a woodland mansion. So let's hop right into it. So most people travel by trees in dark forest mine. So you can go across here. You can easily just go onto this main platform. 
we'll come on to this mushroom. You go inside, um, or you can just go up. I forgot to say, but you can also come down here. These fences and up through this area here. Then you go inside. There's some beds to house your people and a nice attic, just not too big, not too small, very cozy. And the chest, and then this is the main staircase. Go down it, the main hall. And we got some spooky storage system. And a nice house. And this is the smithing place. So we got never portal, we decorated with buttons, anvil, crafting bench, grindstone, we got a smithing table, just everything. And we even got a furnace room with a lava pit. Here comes the fun part. When we try and put some coal inside, uh, let's just get one piece of coal. And we put it inside this furnace. Then the lava, the trap doors open, and we fall into lava. That is a really fun trap to play with your friends um, because it's really unexpected, and this actually looks. This lava floor looks really good in my opinion. And we also got another room. So if we go up these this staircase, then we can go down into this like cellar place. So it's quite dark. And we got an enchanting table with level 30 enchantments. So the materials you'll need will be dark oak logs, cobblestone, stone bricks, torches and glass. So very simple materials to get so first you want to pick a spot with not many not too many trees um, right or you can just cut them down for the wood as well to build it you want to line up your space at the start because lots of mobs will spawn yeah because you don't want creepers coming into your house and destroying everything then you want to build up some dark oak pillars here just along here and try and make them quite tall so they go above the trees and try and mix up the house plan so it's not just one box think about where to put your smithing area and make it more different like this area here and that platform it really makes a difference now you want to build up your walls using just cobblestone and then clear out the areas you want windows and then put these stone bricks i, I mean cobblestone walls around here and then this makes it really look like a window mansion and make your roof so the roof is important like tells you if it's like creepy mysterious and such so how i did it um here i put some stairs in this direction just like that and then above just normal but then i put this block here and what this does this is a really useful method because what you can do, you can make the roofs slope up and then across. And then you can just repeat this, you can have a block, um, you can have a block here. You just do that again until you, you want the slope here roof, but right now I don't really want it. And you, or you can just use slabs. And don't forget your stairs underneath your roof. These are really important, you should not forget them. And now, create your smithing area. Just make some walls with stone bricks. You can add this trap if you want, but it's not necessary. And just put your tables. Just make it look like, like a blacksmith is working there. And then add your details like staircases, fences, like and such. And yeah the last step is basically adding traps because like it's good but like it would be even better if there were like traps and people wouldn't go want to go here so looking at it so and that's basically finished so this house really takes the image of a woodland mansion when you first see it only much smaller the tall building really makes an impression but it's also very useful as you normally travel on the trees, so you can just hop on right in. The ideas of traps are infinite in this house. It creates a spooky atmosphere around it. 
This is a really good house for those people who like to prank or troll on servers. So it's a really fun house to build. So here are my ratings. And let's move on to the next house. Oh no, I forget teleported me. It's the wrong location. Ay ay ay. Am I oh still I like icebergs, so What's this? Oh man! That looks oh, that's a nice village. So as you can see this is a iceberg village. So this is a really wonderful place to live in. Fishing ponds over here, polar bears and much more things. This tiny village shows themselves inside an iceberg with many different rooms and passages I'll show you in a minute. This is a good base to play with your friends. But ice is cold so you better wear some clothes as well. The main food source is fish and this place has everything in a standard base that uh, I'll take a tour in this. So let's explore it. So we got the main fishing area over here. So if I get a fishing rod, uh, yep, over there. And I can just fish for some fish. And yeah, I got it. And we got some barrels, and we even got a pot and a bell. And once we go inside, this is the main hole passages. So we've got a secret room here, which I'll show you at the end, and a nice storage area so you can share it with all the people who live here. Now, here we go into, uh, into the spinning area. Some prismarine polar bears and yeah, some armor, lava over there, and just some chains hanging off, and even a pool using the grindstones. And yeah, I really like this place, really cozy. And we got a furnace. And if we go up here, we got our first room. So we got some chairs which you can actually sit in. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that now. So how you do it, you get a minecart, rail, piston, and lever, and the block you want to place it in. So I'll just pop that first, place my rail, minecart onto it, you break the rail, take the piston, push it upwards, and then the best set onto it. And then you push it down onto it. And yeah, it doesn't come out unless you keep that open. <laughs> so it's really nice. Yeah, we've got a tiny furnace here, <laughs> barrels, and another chair here. <laughs> and a bed. So we've got some other rooms, like up here we got the peasant room, which is quite dark, doesn't have too much stuff in it. I also have a luxurious room, which has a sauna here, in the chest, and we've got a bedroom here, and you should use ice as your windows, because it makes a great camouflage, and we have a double elevator over here, so look at the nice view, and if you want to get down, there's a phantom over there, then you just hop on into here, and yeah, it's all done, so I'll show you the secret room. Get rid of all my stuff. So uh, here we got a items filter. So what you, you do, only selected people have this code. And what they do, they throw it in here, they pick mm. it up, and then the door closes so no one else can go in. And here we got some amethyst studios, very nice looking, and we got some chairs so I want to put stuff in, and level 30 enchantment room. Just if you want to exit, press the button, then you can exit just as well. And you've got another portal down here, and a small platform here, and even like a fishing place here. Just wait a second. So, the materials you will need are birch logs, some dark oak logs, stone bricks, ice, packed ice, sea lanterns, torches, obsidian for a portal, and some prismarine blocks. Or even some snow. So the method is you need to find an iceberg like here. And you wanna make like a you wanna spot like a flat area. I might find a different one. 
platform are like over here so you can just like fish with your friends out there and yeah so you just want really good planning with this and you want to have like a uh, ice tower as well start holding them out make some passages uh, these passages will be some rooms I'm trying to have one some areas just for living and some for storage valuables add flooring and two ice to make faint windows remember don't place the sea lanterns or torches near the ice because they will melt and they'll ruin all your stuff to add details like furniture like those chairs and just other things you can also add birch slabs around the pond like over here to minimize your wasting of wood and yeah remember that everything needs to be as natural as possible you can even when i use this i use dark oak or spruce fences to create this effect that looks like it's underwater and it's worth rotting so i really like to use that and then you need to fill up your rooms with miscellaneous things like ender chests, barrels, etc. And create your smithing place. So this is really important because all your most of your tables will be here. And so you've got a garbage bin with lava. Which is really cool. like the idea of this base to be a miniature society that everyone can live in and have their central base. This reminds me of arctic villages where people had to fish for food and make igloos to survive. This is only really a fun place to live in if you have friends to play with it. The village style base is easily expandable by tunneling more icebergs or stretching outwards or by making more birch platforms. There are lots of possibilities with this base. So here are my ratings. So this is five starter house ideas um, in Minecraft that are quite easy to build. There are also lots of other designs that you can follow. So have a look at them as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below on your opinions or ideas that you'd like to see. And I'll catch you in the next one. So, see ya.